What's going on guys? It's Phil from Millennial Money Games back with another video and today we are going to go over how to invest your first $100 as a beginner investor. So I, before we start and hop right into it, I just want to thank everyone who have recently subscribed and also my old subscribers. We are growing very rapidly. I'm trying to get more views on my videos. Unfortunately that has been lacking lately. So I'm going to put much more effort into making these videos and more effort into coming out with more videos so that way we get more views the subscriber count has been going up but the views have been kind of stagnant and i haven't been getting the views rising with my subscriber account count so i want to thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for watching if you guys could do me a favor before this video starts hit the like button because you know it's going to be a good one and if you don't believe me, just wait. Then if after you watch it, then you can hit the like button because I know you're going to like it. So just a little life update. I've been a little bit busy. I picked up some new work at a real estate office, trying to get some experience there. I plan on getting my real estate license eventually in the next coming weeks. So I'm on the grind. I'm trying to learn many different things. I'm trying to step put my foot in the door of real estate and trying to learn there so I do want to get into more real estate investing and I feel like a real estate agent will be a great way to get my foot into the door all right anyway let's get right into this video all right guys so we're gonna hop right into it so before we get started I just have to say I am not a financial advisor I'm just some guy on YouTube making videos Sometimes in his bedroom, sometimes I'm in my living room, that's where I am right now. Sometimes I'm in an office, you'll see that next week. So don't take anything I am saying personally to heart. I am simply just giving you suggestions that you can do on your own and go do your own due diligence and research. And these are just my suggestions and this is what I have done in the past to invest for myself. And I still invest in these um, through my Roth IRA, through my 401k, I well, I have two. I have a, both a Roth and a 401k. I use these to invest in those, so it's not that volatile. All right. So we are going to be using an app called Robinhood for all of you beginners. I have a ton of other videos on it, but this is going to show you how to invest for yourself on Robinhood. Okay, Robinhood is a very easy platform to use. You can use any Robinhood, any other platform. Um, I suggest using Robinhood and that's just because what I use and I know that is very easy but you could use anything you want you could use Fidelity M1 Finance is another easy one Webull um, E-Trade any really anything okay I am going to show you how to use Robinhood so I will pull up the Robinhood app on my phone here and you guys will see it popping up on your screen any second now Okay, so let's hop right into it. So to purchase your first stock, so this is already after you have money into your account already. So after you sign up for an account, if you don't have an account, I will leave a link down in the description below with my referral code. If you do sign up for Robinhood, you will get a free stock. I will get a free stock. That stock can be anything between Facebook, Apple, any big stock like that, or it can be a couple dollar stock. So if you want to use my code, help out the channel, help me out, and get a free stock for yourself, hit that link down below, okay? So hopping right into this. To search for a individual stock, you will hit that third button, which is the little magnifying glass. That's the search, okay? And then you go to search companies. And this you can type in pretty much any company or any stock you want. So just to show you here, I could type in Apple and Apple will come up, okay? But to show you some other suggestions, do your own research on these. These are just what I invest in and just do your own research, okay? Don't take my advice for anything. So what I am telling you to invest in is our index funds and that is a bunch of companies put into one stock. So you take a little piece of each company that way, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. You don't have to invest and do your own research in individual stocks. You can 
just buy this, you could buy one share, you could buy 10 shares, depending on how much money you have. You could buy partial shares, depending on how much money you have to invest. So, let's go. The first one I'm going to tell you about is called, the ticker symbol is VOO, so if you put that into the search bar, it comes up. That's Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. So this is a index fund that follows the S&P 500. It is from the 500 biggest companies in the US and you get a piece of each one. So if you look at the five year chart here, you could see how it pretty much follows the market in general and it goes up in the past five years, it is up 56%. Now, can you do better? Yes. There are better investments, but this one offers this as a dividend of 1.8% according to Robinhood. And it's just something where you don't have to do as much research on because you have a little piece of each of, co of the companies in the S&P 500. You're not investing everything into Apple or into Microsoft. You get a little piece of all those companies and it's just a very, it's a safe and less risky stock or ETF. To get into. So as you can see here, it had that big drop in March due to the virus that's going around. And then it's, you know, followed that V-shaped recovery that we had. Okay, and the next one that I am going to tell you about is SPY. Okay, so this is another one that follows the S&P 500, it's a little more pricey, but it pretty much has the same trend. This one is up all, all around the same, about 56% in the past five years. It has pretty much the same chart as VOO does. Pretty much the same chart, you see that big drop. You're gonna see that big drop in pretty much every stock you look at, because every stock pretty much went down. So that is my next one. And the last one that I invest in and I suggest you look into and do some research on is VOOG. This is another ETF. It is up 88% in the last five years, which is better than the other ones. It has following the same trends. It is a little bit cheaper than the other ones as well. And just for a little bit cheaper of one, I'm going to show you is SPHD. So right now that's only $33. So it's a pretty cheap one. It's S&P 500 high dividend, which is, it has a 5% dividend yield. And it's cheaper. The five year chart is not as pretty. It is only up 6% in the five year chart. So you wouldn't have uh, made as much money on this in the long term. It hasn't fully recovered since the March drop. It hasn't fully recovered yet. So that is why it's only up 6%. You can see for the year it's up, still down 20%. But so those are the four that I invest in myself and I recommend you guys do some research on, okay? Making money in the stock market is simpler than most people make it out to be. And just investing in an index fund, I'm gonna show you guys here, I'll pull it up on the screen also. I'm gonna show you guys here. Go to the handy dandy compound interest calculator. If you're young, if you're in your 20s, okay? We'll go with, start with my age, all right? So my current principal say you're investing, I have $100, or say you're investing $100 a year, right now I'm at zero, it's my first time. By the time I re retire, which would be about 40, most for 45 years, interest rate will put a modest 8%. That will turn into $41,742. And that is just investing hundred dollars a year for 45 years now if you up that up if you put that to a thousand dollars a year at the same length of time 
and the same interest rate, it turns into $417,000 a year. So you can tell how much, sorry, not per year, $417,000 total off of a $1,000 per year investment. So you can tell how much compound interest really helps you. Okay, if you start young, time is on your side. Time is on your side. You can retire a millionaire if you start young and you invest over, if you invest about $2,000 a year for the next 45 years, you could retire a millionaire. And it's simply with $2,000 a year. That's it, compound interest, baby. It's on your side. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys hitting that like button if you have done so already. If not, go ahead and do it now. Turn that like button blue. Make sure you hit that subscribe button also because there will be a lot more videos. I'll leave a link down to my Instagram down below in the description. And I haven't been posting on there too much but because I've been kind of busy trying to make videos and I've been busy this past few weeks. I know it's not an excuse. I will post more. So please give that a follow. The more people that follow it, the more I will post because I have some motivation to post. So I appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.